This is quickly turning into the Digitech pedal appreciation station, and I, for one, am not complaining. I put this out on the Instagram page the other day, make sure you give it a follow there, and people overwhelmingly voted for the Lux. So let's hook this up and see what this thing can do. So first off, what is the Lux? It's actually pretty simple. It's a digital polyphonic pitch shifter. It's essentially a whammy pedal with a half step range in either direction. In fact, if you open it up and look at the board, it uses the same platform as the Drop, which is a digital polyphonic pitch shifter with a one octave range downward. The differences being the code, which is loaded onto this chip. But this isn't a whammy pedal, it's a detune pedal. And detune is just, well, bending pitch. And in this case, mixing that detune pitch back in with the original signal. So here's before. And here's after. And you certainly wouldn't be wrong for saying, hey, that kind of sounds like a chorus pedal. Yeah, let's peel that back and take a little bit of a closer look. Here is a Maxon CS5, a pretty standard sounding chorus pedal. You can hear that modulation to it, that swirly up and down, whereas the Lux pedal doesn't quite have that. Let's listen to this one more time. Let's say we've got two turntables and a microphone, and we've got them perfectly synchronized so they sound just like one, they're completely identical. The purpose of a chorus effect is to put a second voice in the mix that's at just a slightly different pitch, just enough so that it sounds doubled or thickened up a little bit. With a turntable, we could do that just by slowing it down a little bit. By slowing it down, the pitch gets lowered. Problem is, we can't keep doing that because if we keep slowing it down, eventually it'll become really out of sync. This one will be way behind this one by the end of the song. And we can't slow this one down to catch up with it, otherwise we're just stretching the whole song out and making it longer. Although, as a plug-in, that could be pretty interesting. Patent pending. So how do we keep this turntable at a different pitch than this turntable. Well, typically we could do that by reversing the direction and speeding it up so that now the pitch is higher than it is over there. And we'll ride that up and then turn it around and ride it back down. Now, with a record, doing that would put this turntable ahead of this turntable. 
we can't do that with a guitar's input signal in a chorus pedal because of, well, the way time works. The playing hasn't happened yet. So what we do is we start out with a delay, let's say 25 milliseconds, and then we oscillate around that amount. If it were just the delay, we might not even notice it. But the fact that the delay time is changing means that the pitch is changing as well. And as you can see here, depth and rate multiply one another to create that pitch change. The greater the angle, the more vertical it goes, the greater the variance in pitch. And this might seem like a strange and convoluted approach, but before the age of digital, modulating a delay is how you bend pitch. And as a bonus, it gives us a number of different approaches based on how those knobs are set. We can go slow rate, big depth, shallow depth with a quick rate, both knobs set down low, or go wild and crank both of them all the way up. All right, so you came here to learn about the Lux, and I just spent all this time talking about chorus pedal history. How rude of me. Let's get back to this guy. So, because this pedal has a powerful onboard DSP, it doesn't have to do any of that. It just goes, all right, you want a second voice in there at a slightly different pitch? Bang, there you go. And as far as we're concerned, it just does it. I could be wrong, but I also think I'm hearing a fair amount of modulation and or delay baked in there. That could also just be the frequencies interfering with one another. Either way, this pedal has a sound. And remember, the main purpose of the chorus effect is to add a second voice in the mix. I suppose we could do that with a 12-string guitar where six of the strings were attached to a fixed bridge and the other six went to a tremolo. Patent pending. But doing it electronically, those are our main options. And that's why chorus and detune are two different things. To bring it all back around, let's do a rapid fire comparison. Here's a dry guitar with no effects at all. Here's that standard chorus effect from the CS505. Here's the Lux Detune. Here's another pedal with a detune effect, the Boss PS5 Super Shifter. And you know what? As long as we're at it, here's the dimension effect from the Boss DC2 Waza. The dimension effect is essentially a chorus effect done twice, with the second one just out of phase with the first one. It's Pretty interesting. I did a video on it a couple months back. It's a favorite of mine. Over on the Lux, we just got two knobs. We got level and detune. Level is a mixer, so how much of that overall effect do we want in there? 
and then detune is how far sharp or flat we want it to go. It'll take us a full half step in either direction. And balancing these knobs, we can take it from just barely there. To a stronger multi-voice kind of sound. To something that definitely just sounds straight up wrong. Finding the right balance for what you're playing takes a little bit of back and forth with the knobs, but there's only two of them, so it's not like you're trying to crack the enigma over here. I find that I like the level right around in the middle, and for some reason I prefer the detune knob on the right, so pulling it sharp, but not too far on the right, so maybe around 2, 3 o'clock. I've got just one more tasty little jam for you, but I also wanted to briefly mention that this is a power hungry pedal. It takes 300 milliamps, same as the other whammy and whammy adjacent pedals, and it is not a stereo pedal. I've read about people using this with overdrive and distortion to thicken things up a little bit like a doubler, but to be honest, I like it more clean, which is what you're gonna hear some more of right here. I think it's pretty simple. If you like chorus, but not so much that swirl, well, here's just one more pedal to put on your radar. When I finally get around to making my chorus pedals for people who hate chorus pedals video, this is definitely one that you'll see on there. Digitech didn't invent Detune, but I think they're one of the few companies out there that pulls off digital polyphonic pitch shifting in a natural musical sounding way. All right, that's enough out of me. Make sure you're subscribed and hey, go follow that Instagram at Stompbox Breakdown and I'll catch you on the next one.